there's an interesting story about this song, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how and when it happened. I'll give you the full story, not just the partial story. <clears throat> so I'd been home to visit somebody. Well, I'd been home to visit a bunch of people, and I, I happened to visit one friend who had had his heart broken and wasn't uh, wasn't doing particularly well with um, with getting by. And um, in his house, there was an awful lot of pizza boxes on the floor and empty beer cases, uh, evidence of pot smoking and cocaine use, um, which I would say was borderline abuse at this point. Uh, you know, just broken-hearted, mid-30s, I'd have lost a job, um, a whole, whole bunch of issues. Um, and a few months later, I came home, and it was the night that uh, Phil Din died. Uh, Phil Din was a, um, well, Phil and Noel Din both played with Figgy Duff back home. Uh, Phil was a, was an actor and a drummer and uh, an all-around musician and a wonderful guy um, who I'd gotten to know when I was younger. And uh, the night that Phil died, I was sitting downstairs in my little studio in the front room by the fireplace. And I was getting towards the end of the night, so I, I, I got up and I, I walked out back. And I opened the back door and I stepped outside. And I wrote this song. The second I stepped outside, it was, it was sort of a, a heavy mist here. It was so I, I immediately kind of walked into this damp cloud. And um, I had a, a drink in my hand and a cigarette and a joint. And I were kind of standing there in the back, and this song came to me, and I went, I better record this, because it was just unfolding. So I opened the door, and I laid my shit down, and I ran into the studio, and there was a mic up, one single mic, and I sat down with my old, uh, my old Regal, which was over there somewhere, and I played this song into a mic, um, and the words tumbled out. As they were tumbling out, they were writing themselves, like literally, like they were writing themselves. And then I finished it, and I went back, and I... I had my drink and stuff, and then I came back in. I listened to it, and I'm like, holy shit, that's a great fucking song. Um, I named it The Devil. I didn't quite know what it was about at the time, and it took me a while to sort of put all the elements together, um, the death of Phil, uh, the memory of my friend, my own place in life, um, all of these things. And then when we made No Dark, No Light, and we did that down at Sly Fi Chapel with Brent Bodrug, a beautiful, beautiful studio in an old church in Trenton, absolutely wonderful spot. And um, we re-recorded it, and we did this massive fiddle tune around it. Like it's, it was like it was like the devil, the flames of hell, where the fiddle burning with the, with this weird drum thing, and then the the song was on top of it, and all this massive production. And at the end, I just kind of went, "This this this isn't the song. This isn't the song anymore." So we recorded it two or three other ways, and. Finally, we went back to, okay, I'm going to record it just with a single mic of just me, and we even did it like that. And every time, we'd, we'd spend hours or a day or two days on this song, and then we'd go back, and I'm like, something's still not right. Let's listen to the demo again. And we'd listen to the demo, and it was like, yeah, what is it about this? And we, we couldn't figure it out. And, and then one day I said to Brent, I said, fucking, let's take the waveform of the demo, throw it into a session, gas it up, you know, with uh, some leveling and stuff, and just see what it sounds like. And we did that, and, and I, we put a little bit of EQ on it, you know, maybe just took a little of the low end out because it was a little muddy because it was a crappy, it was just a 58. Um, and that's the version that actually made it to the album. And The Watchmen had a similar experience when we were recording Brand New Day. We did all the demos at Neil Cameron's studio in, um, in uh, Winnipeg, um, Neil and Lloyd's place. Neil was our sound man, still is our sound man. Great guy. Hi, Neil. And uh, we did a demo for uh, the entire album. And when we got in the studio, the same thing happened. Like we kept saying, why, why, does, why do we keep coming back to this demo? And finally we had them fly the tape down, or I don't know if we were in the digital world at that point, we might've actually been, might've been ADATs. Um, anyways, they, they flew down the original tape sessions from the demo and that's the, that's the song that's on the album. We could not get that song to sound the same. It was just like, it had a magic at that moment and that time and we just happened to catch it. And it's amazing when that happens. It's a rarity. But um, anyways, that's the story on this song. I think that covers the whole song too, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a 30-minute intro to a song. Tonight I felt the rain 
that I just got wet I was sorry that you came and then you left So I went outside for a smoke a Whiskey and a toke I felt the rain and then I just got wet Today across the road that no man should I chose to walk away from a place that used to be so goddamn good And I went out searching on my own Trying to find a home Trying to get along the best I could Then I met a big old man out on that road His face was flat and round we shared heavy load He was big and rude And surly and mean And when I told him my story He replied to me He said, what? What do you mean? What the hell are you running for? What would it be you're running to? What would it be you're running from? So I stayed with that man Jobs, I push some bros. I'd go out shopping in the stores. I'd never want for more. Was happy just me and my. And this went on for a while, and I got so sad. I started feeling lonely, and I started feeling bad. And I reached out late one night Tried to take my life And I remembered all the best I'd ever had And then I woke up in the day And everything was fine I couldn't wait to share my story And just let it all unwind And I looked around to take stock But there was no one to go sit and talk talk about old times the devil lives in St. John's Newfoundland some say she's a woman others say he's a man it might be gambling it might be booze drugs or women are brand new shoes but the devil lives in St. John's In the darkness you can See him walking In the corners In the darkness you can See him walking In the corners In the darkness you can See him walking In the corners In the darkness you can See him walking In the corners In the darkness devil and uh betty if you're still here as i've explained to the ants before because i had uh, judy was uh, i think judy was mad at me because uh i say the devil lives in saint john's newfoundland it's just for the purposes of the song the devil